In quantum computing, a qubit or quantum bit sometimes qubit is the basic unit of quantum information. The quantum version of the classical binary bit physically realized with a two-state device. A qubit is a two-state or two-level quantum mechanical system, one of the simplest quantum systems displaying the weirdness of quantum mechanics. Examples include, the spin of the electron in which the two levels can be taken as spin up and spin down, or the polarization of a single photon in which the two states can be taken to be the vertical polarization and the horizontal polarization. In a classical system, a bit would have to be in one state or the other. However, quantum mechanics allows the qubit to be in a coherent superposition of both states, levels simultaneously, a property which is fundamental to quantum mechanics and quantum computing. Etymology The coining of the term qubit is attributed to Benjamin Schumacher. In the acknowledgments of his 1995 paper, Schumacher states that the term qubit was created in jest during a conversation with William Wooters. The paper describes a way of compressing states emitted by a quantum source of information so that they require fewer physical resources to store. This procedure is now known as Schumacher compression. Topic. Bit versus qubit A binary digit, characterized as 0 and 1, is used to represent information in classical computers. A binary digit can represent up to one bit of Shannon information, where a bit is the basic unit of information. However, in this article, the word bit is synonymous with binary digit. In classical computer technologies, a processed bit is implemented by one of two levels of low DC voltage, and whilst switching from one of these two levels to the other, a so-called forbidden zone must be passed as fast as possible, as electrical voltage cannot change from one level to another instantaneously. There are two possible outcomes for the measurement of a qubit, usually taken to have the value 0 and 1, like a bit or binary digit. However, whereas the state of a bit can only be either 0 or 1, the general state of a qubit according to quantum mechanics can be a coherent superposition of both. Moreover, whereas a measurement of a classical bit would not disturb its state, a measurement of a qubit would destroy its coherence and irrevocably disturb the superposition state. It is possible to fully encode one bit in one qubit. However, a qubit can hold more information, e.g. up to two bits using superdense coding. For a system of n components, a complete description of its state in classical physics requires only n bits, whereas in quantum physics it requires 2n-1 complex numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Standard representation In quantum mechanics, the general quantum state of a qubit can be represented by a linear superposition of its two orthonormal basis states or basis vectors. These vectors are usually denoted as 0 equals 1 0 display style 0 wrangle equals b i g l begin small matrix 1 0 end small matrix big R and 1 equals 0 1 display style 1 wrangle equals b i g l begin small matrix 0 1 end small matrix big r they are written in the conventional dirac or bra ket notation the 0 display style 0 wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle are pronounced ket 0 and ket 1 respectively these two orthonormal basis states 0 1 display style 0 wrangle 1 wrangle together called the computational basis are said to span the two dimensional linear vector hilbert space of the qubit qubit basis states can also be combined to form product basis states for example, two qubits could be represented in a four-dimensional linear vector space spanned by the following product basis states: O O equals one zero zero zero. Display style O O wrangle equals bigle begin small matrix one zero 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 end small matrix bigger. 
O one equals zero one zero zero Display style O one Wrangle equals Biggle begin small matrix zero one zero zero end small matrix bigger ten equals zero zero one zero Display style ten wrangle equals biggle begin small matrix zero zero one zero end small matrix bigger and eleven equals zero 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 one Display style eleven wrangle equals biggle begin small matrix zero 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 one end small matrix bigger in general, n qubits are represented by a superposition state vector in two n-dimensional Hilbert space. Topic: <laughs> Qubit states. A pure qubit state is a coherent superposition of the basis states. This means that a single qubit can be described by a linear combination of zero, display style zero wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle psi equals alpha 0 plus beta 1 display style psi wrangle equals alpha 0 wrangle plus beta 1 wrangle where alpha and beta are probability amplitudes and can in general both be complex numbers when we measure this qubit in the standard basis, according to the Born rule, the probability of outcome 0 display style 0 wrangle with value 0 is alpha 2 display style alpha caret 2 and the probability of outcome 1 display style 1 wrangle with value 1 is beta 2 display style beta caret 2 because the absolute squares of the amplitudes equate to probabilities it follows that alpha display style alpha and beta display style beta must be constrained by the equation alpha 2 plus beta 2 equals 1 Display style alpha caret two plus beta caret two equals one. Note that a qubit in this superposition state does not have a value in between zero and one. Rather, when measured, the qubit has a probability alpha two. Display style alpha caret two of the value zero and a probability beta two. Display style beta caret two of the value 1 in other words superposition means that there is no way even in principle to tell which of the two possible states forming the superposition state actually pertains furthermore the probability amplitudes alpha display style alpha and beta display style beta encode more than just the probabilities of the outcomes of a measurement the relative phase of alpha Display style alpha and beta display style beta is responsible for quantum interference, e.g., as seen in the two-slit experiment. Topic block sphere representation. It might, at first sight, seem that there should be four degrees of freedom in psi equals alpha zero plus beta one display style psi wrangle equals alpha zero wrangle plus beta one wrangle, as alpha display style alpha and beta display style beta are complex numbers with two degrees of freedom each. However, one degree of freedom is removed by the normalization constraint alpha two plus beta two equals one. This means, with a suitable change of coordinates, one can eliminate one of the degrees of freedom. 
One possible choice is that of Hoff coordinates, alpha equals e i psi cos theta two, beta equals e i psi plus phi sin theta two. Display style begin aligned alpha and equals e caret i psi cos frac theta two, beta and equals e caret i psi plus phi sin frac theta two. End aligned. Additionally, for a single qubit, the overall phase of the state a psi has no physically observable consequences, so we can arbitrarily choose alpha to be real or beta in the case that alpha is zero, leaving just two degrees of freedom. Alpha equals cos theta two, beta equals e i phi sin theta two. Display style begin aligned alpha and equals cos frac theta two, beta and equals e caret i phi sin frac theta two. End aligned. Where e i phi Display style e caret i phi is the physically significant relative phase. The possible quantum states for a single qubit can be visualized using a block sphere. See diagram. Represented on such a two sphere, a classical bit could only be at the north pole or the south pole in the locations where zero display style zero wrangle and one display style one wrangle are respectively. This particular choice of the polar axis is arbitrary, however. The rest of the surface of the block sphere is inaccessible to a classical bit, but a pure qubit state can be represented by any point on the surface. For example, the pure qubit state 0 plus i 1 2 display style 0 wrangle plus i 1 wrangle sqrt 2 would lie on the equator of the sphere at the positive y axis. In the classical limit, a qubit, which can have quantum states anywhere on the block sphere, reduces to the classical bit, which can be found only at either poles. The surface of the block sphere is a two-dimensional space, which represents the state space of the pure qubit states. This state space has two local degrees of freedom, which can be represented by the two angles phi and theta. Mixed state A pure state is one fully specified by a single ket. Psi equals alpha zero plus beta one. Display style psi wrangle equals alpha zero wrangle plus beta one wrangle. A coherent superposition is described above. Coherence is essential for a qubit to be in a superposition state. With interactions and decoherence, it is possible to put the qubit in a mixed state, a statistical combination or incoherent mixture of different pure states. Mixed states can be represented by points inside the block sphere or in the block ball. A mixed qubit state has three degrees of freedom, the angles phi and theta display style theta as well as the length r display style r of the vector that represents the mixed state topic operations on pure qubit states there are various kinds of physical operations that can be performed on pure qubit states Quantum logic gates, building blocks for a quantum circuit in a quantum computer, operate on one, two, or three qubits. Mathematically, the qubits undergo a reversible unitary transformation under the quantum gate. For a single qubit, unitary transformations correspond to rotations of the qubit unit vector on the block sphere to specific superpositions. For two qubits, the controlled knot gate can be used to entangle or disentangle them. Standard basis measurement is an irreversible operation in which information is gained about the state of a single qubit and coherence is lost. The result of the measurement will be either 0 0 wrangle with probability alpha 2 alpha 2 or 1 1 wrangle with probability beta 2 display style beta caret 2 measurement of the state of the qubit alters the magnitudes of alpha and beta for instance if the result of the measurement is 1 display style 1 wrangle 
alpha is changed to zero and beta is changed to the phase factor e i phi display style e caret i phi no longer experimentally accessible when a qubit is measured the superposition state collapses to a basis state up to a phase and the relative phase is rendered inaccessible ie coherence is lost note that a measurement of a qubit state that is entangled with another quantum system transforms the qubit state a pure state into a mixed state an incoherent mixture of pure states as the relative phase of the qubit state is rendered inaccessible Quantum entanglement An important distinguishing feature between qubits and classical bits is that multiple qubits can exhibit quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a nonlocal property of two or more qubits that allows a set of qubits to express higher correlation than is possible in classical systems. The simplest system to display quantum entanglement is the system of two qubits. Consider, for example, two entangled qubits in the phi plus display style phi caret plus wrangle Bell state one two o o plus eleven display style frac one sqrt two o o wrangle plus eleven wrangle in this state, called an equal superposition, there are equal probabilities of measuring either product state O O display style O O wrangle or eleven display style eleven wrangle as one two two equals one two Display style one sqrt two caret two equals one half. In other words, there is no way to tell if the first qubit has value zero or one, and likewise for the second qubit. Imagine that these two entangled qubits are separated, with one each given to Alice and Bob. Alice makes a measurement of her qubit, obtaining, with equal probabilities, either zero display style zero wrangle or one display style one wrangle ie she cannot tell if her qubit has value 0 or 1 because of the qubit's entanglement bob must now get exactly the same measurement as alice for example if she measures a 0 display style 0 wrangle bob must measure the same as 00 display style 00 wrangle is the only state where Alice's qubit is a zero display style zero wrangle. In short, for these two entangled qubits, whatever Alice measures, so would Bob, with perfect correlation, in any basis, however far apart they may be, and even though both cannot tell if their qubit has value zero or one, a most surprising circumstance that cannot be explained by classical physics. Topic. Controlled gate to construct the Bell state Controlled gates act on two or more qubits, where one or more qubits act as a control for some specified operation. In particular, the controlled knot gate or CNOT or CX acts on two qubits, and performs the knot operation on the second qubit only when the first qubit is 1 display style 1 wrangle and otherwise leaves it unchanged. With respect to the unentangled product basis, O O display style O O wrangle O one display style O one wrangle ten display style ten wrangle eleven display style eleven wrangle. It maps the basis states as follows: O O O O Display style O O wrangle mapsto O O wrangle O one O one Display style O one wrangle mapsto O one wrangle ten eleven Display style ten wrangle mapsto eleven wrangle eleven ten Display style eleven wrangle mapsto ten wrangle a common application of the CNOT gate is to maximally entangle two qubits into the phi plus 
Display style phi caret plus wrangle bell state to construct phi plus display style phi caret plus wrangle the inputs a control and b target to the CNOT gate are one two zero plus one a display style frac one sqrt two zero wrangle plus one wrangle underscore a and zero b display style zero wrangle underscore b after applying CNOT, the output is the phi plus display style phi caret plus wrangle bell state one two o o plus eleven display style frac one sqrt two o o wrangle plus eleven wrangle Topic applications. The phi plus display style phi caret plus wrangle bell state forms part of the setup of the superdense coding, quantum teleportation, and entangled quantum cryptography algorithms. Quantum entanglement also allows multiple states, such as the bell state mentioned above, to be acted on simultaneously, unlike classical bits that can only have one value at a time. Entanglement is a necessary ingredient of any quantum computation that cannot be done efficiently on a classical computer. Many of the successes of quantum computation and communication, such as quantum teleportation and superdense coding, make use of entanglement, suggesting that entanglement is a resource that is unique to quantum computation. A major hurdle facing quantum computing, as of 2018, in its quest to surpass classical digital computing, is noise in quantum gates that limits the size of quantum circuits that can be executed reliably. <laughs> quantum register A number of qubits taken together is a qubit register. Quantum computers perform calculations by manipulating qubits within a register. A qubit quantum byte is a collection of 8 qubits. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Variations of the qubit. Similar to the qubit, the qubit is the unit of quantum information that can be realized in suitable three-level quantum systems. This is analogous to the unit of classical information trit of ternary computers. Note, however, that not all three-level quantum systems are qubits. The term qubit quantum d-git denotes the unit of quantum information that can be realized in suitable d-level quantum systems. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Physical implementations. Any two-level quantum mechanical system can be used as a qubit. Multi-level systems can be used as well, if they possess two states that can be effectively decoupled from the rest e.g., ground state and first excited state of a nonlinear oscillator. There are various proposals. Several physical implementations that approximate two-level systems to various degrees were successfully realized. Similarly to a classical bit where the state of a transistor in a processor, the magnetization of a surface in a hard disk and the presence of current in a cable can all be used to represent bits in the same computer, an eventual quantum computer is likely to use various combinations of qubits in its design. The following is an incomplete list of physical implementations of qubits, and the choices of basis are by convention only. Qubit storage In a paper entitled, Solid State Quantum Memory Using the 31p Nuclear Spin, published in the October 23, 2008 issue of the journal Nature, a team of scientists from the UK and US reported the first relatively long seconds and coherent transfer of a superposition state in an electron spin processing qubit to a nuclear spin memory. Qubit. This event can be considered the first relatively consistent quantum data storage, a vital step towards the development of quantum computing. 
Recently, a modification of similar systems using charged rather than neutral donors has dramatically extended this time, to 3 hours at very low temperatures and 39 minutes at room temperature. Room temperature preparation of a qubit based on electron spins instead of nuclear spin was also demonstrated by a team of scientists from Switzerland and Australia. See also Two-state quantum system On kilobit Photonic computer W-state Further reading A good introduction to the topic is the book of Nielsen and Chuang. An excellent treatment of two state quantum systems and their quantum weirdness, presented to undergraduates in the 1960s, decades before the term qubit was coined, is found in the third volume of the Feynman Lectures on Physics 2013 ebook edition. A non-traditional motivation of the qubit aimed at non-physicists is found in Quantum Computing Since Democritus, by Scott Aronson, Cambridge University Press 2013. A good introduction to qubits for non-specialists, by the person who coined the word, is found in Lecture 21 of The Science of Information, From Language to Black Holes, by Professor Benjamin Schumacher, The Great Courses, The Teaching Company, 4 DVDs, 2015. A picture book introduction to entanglement, contrasting classical systems and a bell state, is found in Quantum Entanglement for Babies, by Chris Ferry 2017.